Hey everybody, Jabman025 here. Today I'm doing a different kind of review. I'm reviewing a Revoltech action figure. Now, I don't do many action figure reviews. In fact, this is the first one. The reason is, I don't buy anywhere near as many as I do model kits. But, I decided to pick this particular one up, and I had mentioned it on Twitter, and a lot of people asked for reviews, so here we go. This is Revoltech number 103, Jehuti, from the... Video game Zone of the Enders. First little box tour. You get the side packaging. See, this is Revoltech Yamaguchi series number 103. The JT from Zone of the Enders. A whole bunch of posing options, and you can see everything that comes with the kit on the back. See some advertisements for some other Revoltex. More posing options and an advertisement for Captain Jack Sparrow, upcoming Revoltech. And here you see Jehuti out of the box. And as with pretty much all Revoltex, this is, has a ton of posability and a ton of detail. One thing I was curious about, could this kit or this action figure, rather, stand on its own two feet. The balance is so odd, could it actually pull it off? And once my camera focuses, there we go. We find out that the answer is, heck no. Not even close. No way, no how, is that standing up. Not really shocking. But, this kit comes with a display stand, which you will need at all times. <laughs> but, I was kind of expecting that. Now, accessories, you get a ton. Starting off with... A crate. In the video game, the Jehuti tosses around some crates and uses it for shielding in some places. You can take off the top and use it as a shield if you want. Get the thrusters for the backpack, complete with removable energy, and those will collapse all the way. That's kind of neat. There you see the other set of feet, so it will become collapsed when it's in a flying pose. You get secondary joints for the elbows. If you want to use those, you can have a double-jointed elbow. That's a little more poseable. You have extra joints for the display stand, so you can get even more poses out of it. And have it connecting in different places. You get two swords, one that is meant to go forward, one that is meant to go backward. So the sword does not swivel around, that gives you two swords. You get another uh, angle pose that attaches onto the base. You get this thruster push, so you can act like it's the Jehuti is pushing through the wind. You get extra hands. This one has a particular plug in it, so it can hang onto the uh, box or shield. And when all is said and done, you get four sets of hands. You also get this ring, which will attach onto the base. In the video game, it has a ring around it at all times that points in the direction of the enemy. And in fact, it even says, enemy on it. So you can always tell what the enemy is, which is kind of a nice little detail effect. I also like the fact that it's both clear and orange. You can see there are three holes on different sides of the ring. Those are used to attach these. The bits that come off the Jehuti itself fl float around it in the second half of Zone of the Enders, the second runner. And you can have them floating around like that. The thrust that I showed you earlier also attaches onto that ring. And as the ring sets there, it kind of hampers posability a little, because it's not quite as big as it should be, but you can work around it. It's not that bad. just takes a little fiddling with to get it just right. And the base has no problems whatsoever. You can put it in just about any pose you want, and it won't fall over. No problems there. But like I said earlier, it's going to have to be on the base at all times. But like I said, tons and tons of posability, tons and tons of detail. Just about everything moves, including the cockpit, which is still kind of creepy. <laughs> to this day, it's a little creepy. The thrusters on the legs move. Basically, anything you think can move on this kit does. That's kind of the rules of a Revoltech. See, I switched out the arms, uh, elbow joint to a double joint, so it 
does look a little too long, but you get more posability that way. And the detail on this kit is just off the charts. Beautiful, beautiful looking kit, or figure rather. For some size comparison next to a Master Grade version 2.0, when it's on the stand, it's almost the same height. Not exactly, but close. Final thoughts on this kit, or this action figure, rather. I'm giving this a thumbs up. This is kind of expensive, but a lot of Rebel Techs are these days. If you really like Zone of the Enders, and I'm a huge fan of Zone of the Enders, especially the second game, Zone of the Enders, the second runner, pick this up. It's kind of pricey, but you get a lot of accessories. It's great posability and has great detail. I really enjoyed it. I'm glad to add it to my collection. Thumbs up. Well, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed a different kind of review, a toy or action figure review. Like I said, I don't buy many Revel Techs. This is my only my fifth Revel Tech, but thought I'd do a review and thought I'd see what you guys think. So let me know. Leave a comment below. And stay tuned for more. Always got more reviews coming. See you next time, guys. Oh, and one more thing. I really, really do hope we get a Rebel Tick Anubis, because right now, the only enemy I got for Jehuti here is Konata. And I'm pretty sure Konata could take him. <laughs>